Hi and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at how you can use video chat in Switcher Studio as a musician to have jams with people who are miles away. If this is your first time to you and some music then please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and the bell so that you don't miss a beat for future videos. I look at helping you make your music masterpiece and I also look at different ways in which you can then live stream and promote yourselves as well. Now Switcher Studio is a really good app and I've really enjoyed making the playlist about it so if you haven't seen that playlist yet check that out in the top right hand side of the screen now and you'll be able to find out a lot more about it. Now in previous videos we've looked at how you can use it to make different multi views, you can use it to use titling, you can use it to use all sorts of different things and it's really important for you to be able to use the app to be able to broaden your horizons when making music and if you want to busk or live stream that online. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at how you can use a feature called video chat and with video chat you can actually bring in someone who's miles away and you can then have a discussion with them you can actually get them to jam some ideas with you. I trialed this yesterday with a friend of mine I will leave a link to her channel in the description below so I'm going to show you how you do that. So as you go over to your app in Switcher Studio you'll see there's a list of logos at the bottom of your app where you can see that there is your video chat settings. If you can then set up and external source and with that external source what you can do is you can then bring them into the chat. The way you do this is by going to the browser and finding your switcher dashboard and then you can select on the extensions and then find yourself on the video chat beta option. It then gives you a link that you can send to the other party and then what they do is they then use that link, click on that and then they then select from a device that they're using that has a camera and a microphone so it could be a phone, it could be a computer with a webcam, both iPhones and Android devices work with this as well. Once you've actually got the person that you want then you'll be able to tap on the Switcher Studio screen by finding their name in the video chat tab and then you'll be able to see them as a source and of course you can then treat that source as any other source. You can then have split screen or you can actually have any transition that you would like. So what you do is once you brought in the other party you will be able to select them on the screen and then you will be able to bring them into your live production. You can also use them in a production that isn't going live so if you were recording for example just the actual device you could actually just use it for that and it's quite useful. Now in our case we were able to have a long conversation and we were able to then broadcast that live we were also able then to uh, use some rhythms to test the latency on it and it's quite good both of you can hear each other at near instant but when the broadcasting settings obviously there's a slight delay so you wouldn't want to be looking at your broadcast over say a twitch stream and then trying to jam from there you would both need to be able to have that video chat feature there's lots of scope for this you'll be able to see this in my friday twitch stream at 8 15 where i'm going to be using different aspects of this in my music making and if i can i'll be bringing someone in to try and listen to the music try and have a jam and see what they could do it'd be good for feedback live with someone who's miles away it could be good for them to suggest different melodies different harmonies by listening to the music that you're making but there's lots of endless possibilities for this but more excitingly if you can set up a jam with someone who is miles away then there's a real opportunity there for good music making. If there's any ideas that you might have for such an application then please drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear your ideas and the kind of things that you are using Switcher Studio for. If you haven't actually subscribed to this channel I make videos every Thursday and you can check those out by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss a beat. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. The video on the top is one that I think you will love and the one on the bottom is one that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. If you would like to know more about how to make your music masterpiece then don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you in the next video next week. Bye bye.